hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to no i'm not going to do that today so here uh, i'm going to share with you a simple project based on vehicle management system which uses php language following this php project uh, it contains all essential features which can be in use for the first year second year it students for their college projects it has important features that will allow all the users to interact in a way that the vehicle showroom manager interacts with their customer. It will, it, they are going, the managers are going to interact with their customers on basis of maintaining records and payment. This system as well as the web application concept is all clear and also it is the same as real life scenarios and well implemented on it. Also I have the project proposal, the documentation if you want i can also i have i will leave an email in my video link description just make sure to check to email me from that email also this is a php project and mysqli also if you want to download this free uh, vehicle sales management system project which is in php you can actually uh, go to my video link description and kindly email me from that email that i've given in my video link description so here you can see on my computer screen i have this one title this is the front end which i used html css of course and javascript you can see there's some background video of showing cars it's like an advert for the cars also you can see we have the title we have the navigation home cars about contact and dashboard panel also we have a title here you can also scroll down you can see we have all types of cars and here I have used dummy text. You can feel you can later edit this code, this project for yourself. You can also click this button, and you can see if you click it, it will take us to the car page, cars page. Also, you can search. You can see there's so many cars. Now, if we come back to home, you can see we have the read about us. So this is just all front end. This is the front end of this uh, vehicle management system vehicle sales management system okay so also we have a contact we have added a contact page you can see we have the phone the email and the location also we have added a map using the using html you can also zoom this map also let's go back to home here is where we're going to i'm going to show you the back end so before you get into this project uh like i'm going to show you how to open this project so simply go to your folder under your folder you're going to see you're going to have a zamp so before you have the zamp you need to download this zamp application this is the zamp if you're using wamp i don't know if uh, anyone who uses wamp most people use zamp it's a control panel for running PHP scripts. You can see if you cannot, if you open this, it's going to open this panel where we can start our Apache and MySQL. So you can see for mine, it's already started. And if I click this, it will take me to the, the, the database of this project. And you can see we have our database name vehicle. So you will give, uh, first we'll come here, you'll create new, and you're going to name your database vehicle okay and simply after naming you're going to click this import button and you are going to download again if you go to zamp under the ht docs this way we have our folder if you click this folder go to the dashboard folder you're going to see this file called database so this way will you will fetch you will import your database called vehicle from this file folder also you need to start your zamp make sure you start your zamp you can't run without the run zamp also i'm going to show you how i'm going to leave a small readme where you can follow your all the the steps on how to extract this project so simply you can see we have the user account we have the database name is vehicle as i said mine is already open also we have the front end type i've shown you that one you're simply going to click this localhost slash vehicle sales management system now what how about if now we are going to 
I'm go I'm going to show you the back end of this this project. So simply let's go back to our browser. If you can, if you come here, you can see we have already opened the front end type. So simply if you click this dashboard panel, it's going to take you to the end to the back end of this project. And here you can see this link localhost slash vehicle sales management system slash dashboard. That's how you get into the back end of this project. Simply I'm going to fill my login info. You can see we have our user account. So simply I'm going to copy this user account. Simply control V, which you're going to paste. Again, let's copy the password of this login. Control V. So if you say remember me, it will remember you if you want. Okay, so click this sign in. Now you can see here we have our admin panel. This is our admin panel. We have the users, the dashboard groups, brands, categories, stores, vehicles, sales, reports, company, profile, setting, and the logout button. Also on the dashboard, if I click the dashboard panel, you can see. So before doing that, I'm going to set the manager, manage users. So this is the users we have. The group is Tesla. We have, we can add group manage groups we have brands and see we have different brands like audi ford we have different type different brand of the cars okay brand cars we can click vehicles if you click vehicles and select manage vehicles you can see all the list of the vehicles that we this and um, it sells okay we have all the vehicles that are on sale you can see we have and uh, plus we have the price the quantity the store availability if it's active or not active also the numbers this is the quantity the number of cars in that particular model of car okay so if you got sales here you can manage your sales you can see this one status paid status okay you can also print this receipt if you want so it will print as a pdf form you can see the micro print to pdf okay Simply, I'm going to cancel for now. I don't want to print anything. So let's go back. Let me click my info again. So first of all, now what I did is I didn't even log into the admin panel. Okay. So what I did was I entered the user account or the employee account. So simply, this is not this is for the user only. And you can see we have the reports on a chart. Uh, chat, chat. This is the sales we made. Also, we have the companies. So simply, I'm going to log in. You can go to the profile. Here, you can simply, if you go to setting, you can edit your user info. You can change your password. So simply, I'm going to log in this user account. So what I want to do is I want to log in to the admin panel. So what I will do is I will just, you can see here, we have the admin info, OK? Super admin credential. This way, you log in as an admin. And this for the user. So simply let's log in admin at admin dot com. The password is password. Simply click the sign in button and it will take you to the admin dashboard. Simply close this. Here is where you're going to see here is where all the control and the managing things happen as an admin because you are the admin of this vehicle sales management system. So here you can see we have the dashboard, we have the total vehicles, total paid sales, total users, total stores. If I click total vehicles, it will show me the list of vehicles that we, this manager has, okay? Also, we can add a vehicle. This way we can enter our info and you are simply going to import your image by clicking this insert image. Give your info, fill your info, everything, okay? So let me go to the manage vehicles here you can actually edit so we saw that the user can't edit or delete any vehicle because the user has, doesn't have that control to delete okay or doesn't have the permission to delete okay so you can see we can simply delete or click if we edit you can change the info of this vehicle this uh 
a bus, Volvo bus. Let's come back. Also, let's try to delete this Volkswagen. If I delete it, won't it will straight be it will show me this pop up message that is says, Do you really want to remove? I can remove. So, basically, this project you can delete, update, and you can also add. Okay, add, delete, update. You can do all the three entities. Okay, so simply I'm going to say close because I don't want to delete. Now, if you want, if you want me to delete, it's okay. I'll just click this and say save changes. See, it's deleted. It's deleted. Totally deleted. So now we can go to sales. We can add sell. If we have a new customer, we can enter his info and as chosen a a car. We can add the quantity, the the type of the car you chose. So simply, we can also manage sales. And see we have this total amount it's this is paid on cash you can also print it or edit this customer sell okay now you can go to reports you can you can see we have this is the match match we made this sell this is the amount of sell we made between 12 12 million okay also we can view the companies we have we have tesla and we have so we have many companies okay you can click the profile here is my admin profile the group is administrator also we have the setting this where the admin can change the in, in the info can change his, his or her info now let's go back to users here is where you can add our users you can simply select the group of this user and just save and that's all so this the whole project this is the dashboard back to the dashboard so guys that was all for today's video i was sharing for you this amazing php project because a lot of you guys have requested php projects and i'm trying to upload more and more every week and now every week and every week okay so i hope this helps you for the first year second year it students uh, for college projects you can simply if you are interested okay if you are interested in this project the vehicle sales management system simply go to my video link description and email me at mohazaki at mohazaki12 at gmail.com okay simply i'll leave that my i'll leave my email in my in the, in the video link description so all i want to say is let me just log in i'm, doing, I'm going to, i mean log log out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to Go back to the front end of this project so guys that was all for today's tutorial i mean for all and uh, today's video sorry no tutorial i wasn't showing you tutorial i was just presenting you a simple vehicle sales management uh, project based on php and mysql so guys if you are interested in this project again go to my video link description simply email me at mohazaki12 at gmail.com so before I finished this video i want to say thank you for all my subscribers please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel also don't forget to to click the the bell icon to get more php projects the next time i upload php projects okay so till next time bye